Howdy y'all, this is Mr. Teeman, and welcome to this week's virtual announcements. Today is Monday, November 2nd, and as you can see, I'm actually recording this last Friday for our Halloween celebration here at school. But it is time, no matter what, it is time for the Pledge of Allegiance, so if we can all please rise and face the flag. As we place our right hand over our heart, as we begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And today, I will be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and do my personal best. I know you will. I hope you all had a wonderful, fantastic, outstanding, excellent weekend. Again, I'm recording it on Friday, but I know there's a lot of fun things. I think Saturday might have been something called Halloween. Maybe you had a little fun doing that. There's the MSU U of M football game. Right now, I don't know who won. Hopefully, it was the team I like, but we'll see. We'll see. It was a daylight savings time, and I think there was a full moon in there. So, quite a weekend. We'll see how it actually goes when I watch this again on Monday. All right, moving on. Here's that weather. It's looking pretty good. You know, for the first week of November, these looks like some fantastic days to get outside, uh, ride your bike, ride a skateboard, whatever it is, get some exercise outside uh, for our TVA families. Do those awesome gym activities outdoor. Get off those devices uh, as much as we can and enjoy this fall weather. So into the 60s even. Fantastic. All right, we're looking about we're talking about perspective this week. And that means that you appreciate when people see things in different ways. You have the ability to understand the world from multiple points of view. Perspective is also referred to as wisdom. I like that word. And it is distinct or different from intelligence. Very interesting. People with this strength are sought out for advice because they see the big picture and can make sense of the world's complexity. The strength of perspective gives individuals the ability to see to the heart of difficult matters and achieve clarity. Most importantly, they are honest and behave in an ethically consistent manner. Now, perspective is usually gained over time as one accumulates more knowledge and experiences. However, developing perspective is not only a matter of time. It comes from truly listening to others when they talk and working to understand new points of view when reading books, listening to stories, or watching movies. So again, even though the character strength of perspective takes time to build as we gain and learn new things, we still all possess that character strength and should work at trying to become, uh, use that more often, try to perceive things in meaningful ways. Again, there's that old saying that says, uh, that begins with a wise man once said, and then they share some great knowledge. It, it never starts with an intelligent man once said. That's because perspective or wisdom is different than one's intelligence. So very cool character strength that we're going to talk about in all of our classrooms this week. Hope you enjoy. All right, moving on. We're talking a little COVID still, and I know it's still with us. And here's some of those pictures that we've seen around. Uh, you, you can check out the dashboard. You can see that, that as of right now, things are going pretty good, actually, at State Road. Um, but that only will continue with the help of everybody out there. Uh, whether you are, you know, you're at home and you're wondering, you have a question about uh, even yourselves as adults, if you have a question about what to do because you may have symptoms and you're not sure what to do, call us and we'll help uh, go through the guidelines with you uh, as it relates to your students, your children coming to school. But you, we all know these factors. I know there's that COVID fatigue out there. We're getting tired of some of these things, but we are truly doing what we need to at this time in this building to mitigate the exposure. And I can't thank all of you enough as well for the phone calls and checking to make sure 
Should I send my son or daughter? Should I not? How long will they be out? Uh, we really appreciate that teamwork, that we are working together as a team, as one big family to make sure that everybody is safe. We're not increasing the exposure by sending our kids who are sick. And I know that's difficult. I know the, the absences uh, are, are greater for some this year, and that's to be expected. That's okay, and that will not hurt them. Uh, if they have two or more minor symptoms that are on that list or one of those major symptoms, they are considered COVID symptomatic and they would technically be quarantined for 10 to 14 days, depending on if they have exposure to somebody else that is positive. If they don't have exposure to somebody, but they just are symptomatic, they would have to get a test or have a doctor that said, nah, this was because of seasonal allergies or something else. Uh, but we, we would need that note for them to return along with them being free from symptoms. If we don't get those things, they would be quarantined for 10 days and then could return after they're symptom free. So a lot of different cases, scenarios, situations, please go, give our office a call, give me a call, shoot me an email. We're glad to help you walk through all of this, but we can't thank you all enough for what you are doing to help us through this. All right, this is uh, the, the help for the holiday section. And as I said, as I get more from Mrs. Mong, who is our awesome school home coordinator, uh, I'll post it here. It's in our slide deck. You can click on these links about the Christmas box program, our angel tree, and now the latest one I added was anyone that needs winter gear as we head into this winter season. Uh, there are several local community churches in the Fenton Center of Hope that have gathered together uh, and co co collaborated to help with this. And you can go to this address, 301 East, Sally, ha, East South Holly Road in Fenton, uh, Monday through Saturday. It's already started. It's already open. Head down there and get any winter gear that you have. If you don't have transportation, please contact one of these church organizations, these local organizations, and they will help you. All right. If you still need assistance with anything else, I know we have some information on mortgage assistance, please contact Mrs. Mong here at this email address or phone number. All right, a lot of more information heading our way and that's with Stuff the Bus. This is a program that you, I'm sure you've heard of many times before. It is also one that we run in conjunction. This picture is not letting me move off of it. So hold on here. Uh, it lets me run in conjunction with our State Road Craft Show. Unfortunately, our craft show is not able to, is not going to happen this year. But Stuff the Bus is still going on because it's so important. We need to make sure that we have all of that information out to our families that can donate. So if you have those non-perishable goods that you'd like to donate, here are the dates and locations. There, You can also donate uh, cash. BG's receipts, any of those items to those locations, uh, as well as these uh, sponsoring partners who are grateful for anything that you're able to provide. Our PTO, again, has, uh, uh, like I said, we are un unfortunately not able to have our craft show, which is our biggest fundraiser and provide probably 90% of our PTO budget for a school year. We're not able to have that. So these are some other ways that you can still help support the, the our PTO organization uh, just by doing things you, you normally do, whether it's shopping on Amazon, just make sure you select Amazon Smile and support State Road Elementary Parent Teacher Organization, Inc. as your charity group. We're still collecting VG's receipts, box tops, the Terra, Terra Cycle program. Uh, for more information, just follow the State Road Elementary Family PTO on Facebook. All right, we're still walking across America. I uh, uh, have Ms. Slaughter update this photo for us to see where our classes are at and those links are being sent to TVA families as well as our classrooms uh, still getting those miles. All right, here's some uh, information as we move forward this week. Tomorrow, probably if you're watching this on Monday, there's no school tomorrow, Tuesday, November 3rd. It is a staff professional development day. It's also election day, so please exercise your right to vote, folks. All right, get out there to the polls if you haven't done so already. The day after that, Wednesday, is our first official kickoff day for our State Road Dance Fit fundraiser from Boosterthon. 
This is a great organization that we're excited to partner with. It's going to be about 10 days worth of fundraising. And then we're going to finish with two awesome events because of uh, some of these COVID restrictions. We're going to finish on, on uh, November 13th with a dance fit. It's kind of like a dance off. And then in the spring or late uh, towards the end of the school year, we are going to finish with that fun run as long as we can get those restrictions lifted. So two really cool, exciting things that we're going to do with this booster thon fun run and dance fit. It's open now. It is live. So if you go to funrun.com, uh, register, share, share, share on Facebook and social media. That's what help gets the word out. Um, encourage uh, companies. That's really some of the awesome donations that you can get. And it doesn't have to come out of your pocket. But if you work for a company that does matching donations or like to uh, donate to a, a great cause, please share it with companies that you work for. That would be greatly appreciated. All right. This Thursday for our face-to-face -face folks is School Picture Day. I don't think I'll be wearing this, but it is Picture Day for all of our face-to-face face to face families, but we're using a new company, HSP. So you were not sending home a packet. You don't need to prepay. It's all done online. So check it out at hspphotos.com uh, to take care of all of that information. For our virtual students, we have two picture day opportunities for you, which will be at HSP Studios. And that, those are right here. Friday, November 13th, 10 to 2, and Monday the 16th from 2 to 6. All right, this is here. Again, these are in the slide deck and reminders, but if you need any help, there's a menu link there. Uh, and food service newsletter takes you to the important things for food service. All right, we're into November, so it's a new monthly menu calendar. Help desk if any of our TVA families need that and continue support. I know some are reaching out to me if uh, they're not here and back, and that's totally fine. I'm glad to help you out. And again, mark your calendars. Those are the picture day reminders as well uh, that we talked about a little bit ago. And Thursday the 18th, we're going to all wear purple. TVA face-to-face, -face, let's make that a wear purple day in support and recognition of World Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Day. Uh, that's something the entire district is participating in, uh, and it's definitely for a good cause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we keep talking about perspective, and sometimes all it takes is a subtle shift in perspective an opening of the mind, an intentional pause and reset, or a new route to start to see new options and new possibilities. Can't wait to see what we do this week. Have an awesome week, and we'll see you around. Bye-bye.